So in this example, the pillow here is going to represent our lungs. It's full of air, full of feathers too. The spoon is going to represent transport. It's like when you're eating cereal, you're transporting the food from the bowl into your mouth. So the spoon is going to represent transport of oxygen throughout our body. And this notebook here is going to represent energy use. Now it's not because this notebook's made out of paper and paper came from a tree and trees absorb CO2. All right, we're not, we're not going down that pipeline. The notebook's going to represent energy use in this case. So we're going to pretend that our muscles have the ability to write down their energy use and uh, this is where they're going to be documenting it. So we'll get to this part a little bit later. All right, now I'm going to use these objects to explain VO2 max. Let's start with step number one, the intake. How much oxygen can we actually pull into our lungs? So every time you take a deep breath, your lungs expand and they fill with fresh air. Inside of your lungs, that air moves into tiny little sacs where oxygen is absorbed and passed into your bloodstream. In our analogy, this is the pillow. So the bigger your pillow, the bigger your lungs, essentially. But here's the critical part. Simply taking in more air doesn't mean your body can actually use it.